what I'm doing here is I'm using my belt grinder to remove the saw marks from the piece of wood that I just cut free. You have to take your time and apply very light pressure because this machine is very powerful and can take a lot of material away very quickly. This is one of my most favorite processes of making a knife, is doing the woodworking for a handle. You want to check your work regularly to make sure that it is grinding where you want and how you want. Now it's time to take it to my homemade surface grinder. Now that the handle scales are ground down smooth, sanded flat, it's time to drill some holes for our brass pins that are going to eventually hold this knife together. What I'm doing here is I'm tracing the knife onto the handle scales so that I can match this back up every time exactly in the same way. I'm gonna do this with both handle scales for both sides. Then I'm going to mark the inside so that I know which side is which so that it always goes back the same way. Next I'm going to apply painter's tape to the handle of the blade so that I can then super glue it to the handle scale and the tape is going to allow me to remove it easily so the super glue is not permanent.
Alright, um, so now we're stuck. You look pretty stuck, dude. <laughs> Let's hope we don't lose Is that super glue? Skin. <laughs> yes. After drilling our holes, we're now going to insert our brass pins and determine our desired length, and then mark and cut. Now if you don't have your own homemade surface grinder, here's a trick you can use. After I was done, I noticed that it wasn't perfectly flat, so I decided that I was going to do this trick just to make it perfect. So what you do is you take some low grit sandpaper, you tape it to your workbench, or some people have machinist blocks and then you put a little tape down on your sanding block and then your material and you just put a little glue on be sure not to glue your fingers to it like I did now we'll give that just a minute but by applying tape to both sides and then gluing them, it assures that it's gonna get a nice firm hold. But when it comes time to remove it, you just take the tape and you pull them both off. And then there's no glue stuck to anything. And it feels like we've got this. Yep. And just stand away. Some people use a jigsaw or a bandsaw to remove the extra wood. I'm just going to use my belt grinder 
and get as close to my pencil line as I can, as carefully as I can. After I assemble the handle, I'm gonna wrap the blade in tape so not to scratch it when I put it in my vise. Now I'm gonna apply a two-part epoxy, clamp it, let it sit for about 20 minutes. The JB Weld has a five minute cure time, so 20 minutes should be plenty of time. Now I'm going to hammer the top of this pin and give it a domed appearance, also adding more strength. Now, after several hours and many days, it's complete.
Thanks for enjoying the video all the way through. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. And definitely, definitely smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm.